Krishna, this is a good place and they help a lot of people who strive throughout the year with them and help them a whole lot and it's a big impact on their life. This has been one of the best programs I've ever been a part of, and I've been a part of many in, in the Hartford area, and none of them compared to Chrysalis. They really help you a lot, and the quality of food that we get is uncomparable because it's mostly organic, very healthy stuff. And um, yes, they really, I would recommend it to anyone that's in need. I tell people this all the time, working for Chris is like uh, playing for the Yankees is a dream job for me. Um, Chris is very well known in, in the industry for what we do. We uh, help a lot of people here. We help people who have been marginalized in society from marginalized communities, and we're able to make a difference in their life. There's a lot of individuals in the community that need support community support, with housing support, with employment support, these things can help individuals at Chrysalis. It's very important to support Chrysalis because I have to tell you, they changed my life. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining Chrysalis Center tonight for our annual Butterfly Bash, virtually. I'm Adria Giordano, Director of Development and Communications here at Chrysalis Center. This past year has been a challenging year. From the pandemic, social injustices, and isolation, many of us have faced unbearable sadness and tragedy. And here at Chrysalis Center, we have worked hard to help our clients adapt to new realities. We have been creative and innovative, imaginative and inventive, designing new ways to meet our clients' needs. Oprah Winfrey said, the smallest change in perspective can transform a life. And tonight, although we are apart, we're coming together and shifting our perspective, focusing on the positive. Our amazing and resilient clients, our patient and hardworking staff, our generous donors and supporters, our wonderful volunteers, our fantastic BASH planning committee, and our terrific MCs all of us together, achieving our mission to assist people in need to transform their lives. We are so very grateful to all of you for being here tonight. We are together in spirit as we bring awareness to critical issues in our community, from food insecurity and homelessness to helping people coming out of incarceration and those struggling with mental illness. We are here tonight to raise awareness and critical funds to help us continue this life-saving work. Our theme this year is celebrating the beauty of transformation. 
and you will hear more about the transformation our clients go through as they transform their lives here at Chrysalis Center. Tonight, you will hear stories from some of our wonderful staff, resilient clients, and generous supporters about transformation and how sometimes with a little help, a life can be transformed. We are so honored to have Kara Sunlin and Dennis House as our event co-masters of ceremonies. They are wonderful supporters and friends of Chrysalis Center. And I am so very excited to start this evening off. So without further ado, I am pleased to introduce Kara, a two-time award-winning journalist, chief digital anchor, and co-host of Great Day Connecticut, and Dennis, an Emmy award-winning journalist and News 8 anchor and anchor of This Week in Connecticut. Thank you, Adria. Thank you so much. And good evening, everyone. We are thrilled to be here with you. And I'm going to say we because my partner in crime, according to my Life360 app, is pulling up here any moment. But as you know, Dennis anchors the evening news uh, in New Haven at, at Channel 8. So that starts at 630. And he's just going to be pulling in the parking lot. So I'm going to get us started. Um, I hope you're all having fun. I hear that many of you are having watch parties tonight. You're eating food. You're celebrating. And that's so great because this is the 17th annual Butterfly Bash. And I'm excited to be together in spirit because we're bringing awareness to Chrysalis Center and we're sharing inspiring stories of hope and transformation. And that's going to raise some critical funds to continue these wonderful programs and the services that really help thousands of people in Connecticut. You heard the theme is transformation. This is an organization that really works. It really transforms lives. So while you're in the comfort of your own home, I hope enjoying some of the max catering that you're eating and uh, some desserts and some chickens and maybe some uh, champagne, um, we are excited to be here to host this wonderful evening. So tonight's event is going to raise critical funds and it's going to help the center's mission. And that is to provide support services to assist people in need to really transform their lives. So for more than 45 years, Crystal Center has been helping those who live in poverty, veterans, men, women, children, young adults, all who are struggling, many of them, with mental health, addiction, HIV, AIDS, homelessness, and those who are returning from incarceration. Um, so both Dennis and I have been friends of the organization for so long. And, but for many of you here tonight, you might be new supporters and new friends, and we're so glad to have you with us. And I just want to take a moment here, go off script and tell you that um, I wish you could see like the fresh place, or maybe you've seen some of the stories you've done on the news. It's amazing. The people here get to walk in. They get to feel dignified. They shop for organic food that's given to them. They learn what they need to continue their transformation. As you heard in that video earlier, that this was an organization that changed people so much. So um, we're grateful to have you all here, and we love the person-centered approach, which empowers and motivates individuals. They have an active voice. They have a role in reaching their goals. And you know, when someone is actually coming from such the, 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 the lowest point in their lives, homelessness, struggling with mental illness, substance abuse, or even food insecurity, Chrysalis Center right here, this is the place that helps them. So tonight, we're going to hear some inspiring and amazing stories from those people, from those who have been truly transformed because of the Chrysalis Center, where I'm standing right now. And as you heard from Adria earlier, our theme is celebrating the beauty of transformation. We cannot wait to share with you some of the amazing, beautiful ways that these individuals have transformed because of the work that's done right here at Chrysalis Center and because of the support of donors like you. So since the onset of the pandemic, Chrysalis Center has remained open. It never closed its doors. Everything else shut down. People work from home, uh, whatever, doors shut down. We couldn't go places. No, Chrysalis Center stayed open and it was one of the few nonprofits which actually expanded its services during this challenging time. That ensured that every client and family had food to eat, a place to sleep, emergency supplies for their behavioral and physical health needs. The staff worked harder than ever to ensure clients and that their family's needs were met and that the community rallied around Crystal Center with donations of food, supplies, and of course, masks to keep clients safe and healthy. I mean, this was a tough year. This was a tough year for all of us, but can you imagine if you already didn't have resources 
chrysalis was really a source of hope and it helped so many people. So uh, just like so many organizations, though, the pandemic affected the center's in-person fundraising events, which is why we're virtual tonight. The Butterfly Bash, though, is even more critical. So we really want to raise funds to support these life-saving programs and services. And Chrysalis really went above and beyond the past year to ensure that clients were safe, that they stayed healthy. The staff had to get creative. They were meeting outside. Uh, they were doing virtual visits. And thanks to all of you here tonight, those of you who have donated, uh, maybe you couldn't even join us, but you're raising those critical funds. And, oh, look, he's here. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. I made it. You made it. You made it. Nice to see you. Hi. How are you? <laughs> we're here. I made it. Okay. All right, yes. Applause. Yes. There are folks at home. They're eating wonderful catering. They're doing the some The food. Cheers. We left you I heard is amazing. Mm -hmm. oh, we have a, we're toasting yeah. with some Wonderful water tonight. Cheers. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Well, only because we have to read a lot. So champagne later, right? And because we're doing the detox. <laughs> we are. Okay. All right. So what page are we on now? Well, I, we, we I couldn't read while I was driving. We have a prompter. Can you read that though? I can read the prompter. Good. Okay. Yes, I can. All right. Just wasn't sure if I it can would be it. big enough. So well, you know, it's a little small for me, but that's all right. Well, why don't you start with and in addition? Okay. So <laughs> welcome everyone. I'm sorry I'm late, but I'm glad I'm here. Work calls, right? In addition to watching some inspiring client stories, we're here to celebrate the beauty of transformation, to celebrate the wonderful work being done here at the Chrysalis Center. We have some amazing silent auction items and live items as well coming up. And we want to tell you a little bit about them. Uh, you want to stay to the end for that, though. Yeah. So we want you to keep your mobile devices handy. And that's actually, there's a text uh, screen up there. This is what you want to do. You want to text Butterfly21 to 76278 right there on your screen. Or to make a donation, you can go to, um, that's to make a donation. Then if you want to look at some of the auction items, go to butterfly 21 dot givesmart.com. That's where you can bid and donate. And by the way, even if you don't have a ticket, you can save this and you can you know, text to your friends who aren't part of this because anyone can donate this way and anyone can bid. So uh, we're so happy you bought virtual tickets and everyone's with us, but these are live links and this is a way to continue to support Chrysalis throughout the evening or maybe you tell your mom tomorrow that you want yeah. her to donate. Yeah. Nice and easy. So we are pleased at this time to introduce two ladies who are definitely ready to celebrate. Please welcome Deirdre King Hoogie. Hoagie. Hoagie. Uh, you want I want to make, make sure I pronounce that correctly. Hoagie, yes. Hoagie, that's right. And, and Janet, Janet Poriello. Poriello. She's the, there, the co-chairs of this year's Butterfly Bash Planning Committee. There's fin Thank you, Karen Dennis. We're so grateful to have you here tonight hosting our event. We're all here to raise critical funds for Chrysalis Center. Absolutely. And we were hoping to be live this year, but of course, to be safe, we're virtual again. Last year's event was virtual and it was a great time. But the upside there is we're all at home. We're safe. It's a Friday night. Have some wine. Let's enjoy ourselves. Oh, yeah. Have some wine. Um, yes. So we are very honored to be co-chairs of this event. And we've had the great opportunity to see some of the great work that the Crystal staff is doing with their clients. This event, as you well know, has been months in the planning. We're very excited to bring you some very inspiring stories from Chrysalis clients. And our theme this year is celebrating the beauty of transformation. And it's just awe-inspiring how some of the clients here really make important changes in their life and really transform. And the other thing I think that we've learned over, especially over the last 18 months is a single person can make a difference in someone's lives. And with organizations like Chrysalis, everyone can make a difference. By supporting Chrysalis Center, we're helping them help a lot of people. Absolutely. And um, we couldn't pull this off tonight without the hard work of our awesome planning committee. So we have Beth Brigham, Karen Diarco, Nancy Shepard, Katherine Gallagher, and Heather LeBlanc. We also want to thank the development staff here at Chrysalis, Adria Giordano and Sarah Mitchell. We couldn't pull this event off without everyone's support. They're fabulous, absolutely fabulous. 
So please join us, sit back, enjoy the evening. We wanna thank you, thank everyone for watching, for donating, for sponsoring. We have some fabulous auction oh, items, oh, yeah. a lot of great stuff to bid on. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got trips, we got, um, we got dinners out, we got wine. golf outings, wine, and we wine. have a lot of, we have a real lot of wine. We're so. gonna bid, we're, we'll be bidding on the wine. Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so anyway, once again, Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. And remember, all of the donations tonight, all of the auction bids, all of that goes to provide critical funds for Chrysler Center. So cheers. Cheers. And cheers, cheers. to you, Deirdre <laughs> King Hoagie and Jenna Poriello. You just did such a great job. Wonderful leadership. Um, helping put this bash together. And it's really an amazing event we're having here tonight. Yeah. And it takes a lot of work to pull off an event and even harder planning a virtual event. So um, Dennis, everyone should see the room that we're in right now. It's set up like a movie scene. Uh, Rebel Interactive Production Crew is here. It really yeah, is. It's pretty amazing. Cheers from behind. They're doing a great <laughs> job because- It's like a TV studio in here. We've got ring lights. We've got yeah. prompters. In some ways, pulling off a virtual event is much more difficult than an in-person one because you have to have all the production values. Yes, and all that. absolutely. They've, they've really checked every box here. And um, so all right. appreciate that. So we, um, we've, we're we drinking our water. We'll have our champagne later. Okay. Um, water. <laughs> and, uh, but Crystal Center is one of those amazing organizations which truly helps people in need. In addition to the planning committee who organized um, tonight's event, I just also want to acknowledge um, the board of directors. I want to thank the board of directors. And I know Adria uh, is giving you a big, a big warm hug because we couldn't do it without the board of directors and it takes a lot of people to raise significant funds. We want to thank all of us um, who are here tonight, the generous donors, the sponsors, the friends whose philanthropic support is greatly appreciated. And we want to thank you to the Butterfly Bash Honorary Committee. Mm -hmm. It's a leadership investment. It's a testament to the belief and support in organization and a commitment to providing the highest quality programs for all the individuals and families who are in need here in Connecticut. And we also, of course, want to thank all the businesses out there and the organizations who purchased an ad for tonight's digital program. Yay. And those who, of course, you know, contributed and to these wonderful auction items that we have. And we've got so many of them. We're pretty excited about that. And that's we're going to name some of the silver sponsors yeah, let's right, go to now. That right now. And yeah. we've got, uh, they're on the screen right there. Actually, this is the honorary committee. So thank you so much. But the silver sponsors are Hoops, Morgenthaler, Rausch, and Scaramoza. Thank you, yeah. attorneys at law. And Enterprise Builders as well. And bronze sponsors, we have Advanced Office Systems, Aspen, Cigna, Dakota Partners, Gallagher Insurance, The Hartford, and Hartford Steam Boiler. Yeah. And then we have our supporter sponsors. And you can see them here on this slide. It's the Connecticut Housing Authority, Cross Key Architects, Hammer and Nails LLC, Rebel Interactive, yay, uh, Kanan, Escalera, and McHale. And the media sponsors, Channel 3 and Channel 8. we got the whole state covered. Yeah, WTNH News 8 is here. I just left there just moments ago. So we want to thank all the sponsors. And now let's hear more about this wonderful organization from a longtime Chrysalis volunteer and supporter, Carol. Hi, everyone. I'm Carol larko Merzen, a longtime supporter, a volunteer, and a former board member. And I want to thank you all for being here and participating in this virtual gathering where tonight we hope that we're going to raise a lot of money for Chrysalis and also increase your awareness of all that Chrysalis does for people throughout the state. Right now, they're helping 1,500 people transform their lives through safe housing that helps people have a warm bed at night, healthy and nutritious food, job training, and also access to other community resources. You heard Kara and Dennis talk about the fact that during the pandemic, Chrysalis stayed open the whole time. They never closed their doors. And the management team made sure people had food because they delivered it themselves. You know, over the years, I have been really fortunate to have had a lot of opportunity to talk with clients and to hear their stories. And what they always 
express is gratitude. Gratitude that Chrysalis was there for them and their families in their time of need. Not with a handout, but with a hand up to empower them and help them change and grow and to have a better life. So tonight we are here to hopefully raise more money so the organization can provide more support. And I want to thank all of you, along with the staff and the management team, volunteers, the planning team, Kara and Dennis, everyone that's helping to make this night a success so that we can raise a lot of money. Thank you all and enjoy the evening. Just amazing. And as Carol said, Chrysalis Center helps 1,500 people each year. That's a lot of people. And they wouldn't be able to do it without your critical work uh, and all the support. Carol is passionate and she's a wonderful friend to Chrysalis Center. She has seen firsthand how grateful the clients are to help to have Chrysalis Center help empower them and have a better life. So we just want to encourage you to keep those phones, keep those phones out. out. Make a donation or bid auction items throughout the evening. Uh, we'll continue to put those links up, but you can keep going throughout the evening while you enjoy your food at home. You're part of the annual Butterfly Bash to benefit the Chrysalis Center. And now we'd like to introduce one of Chrysalis Center's chief program officers. He is Brian Bonds. Brian? My name is Brian Bonds. I'm a chief program officer here at the Chrysalis Center. I've been here a little over a year. I think Crystal is a very special place. I'm very honored to work here. I tell people this all the time. Working for Crystal is like uh, playing for the Yankees. It's a dream job for me. Um, Crystal is very well known in, in the industry for what we do. We uh, help a lot of people here. We help people who have been marginalized in society from marginalized communities, and we're able to make a difference in their life. We give people the opportunity to have safe, affordable, clean, decent housing. We help people with job training, and we allow people to get nutritious, fresh food um, something that's not always available in this community. So overall, we do a lot of different things for a lot of different populations, and I think we make a difference for people. We really do um, give back and, and help people get better here. Here at Chrysalis, uh, a big component of what we do is our case management services. We have amazing case managers that do amazing work with the individuals that we work with. So what does that mean? Take our housing, for, for example. You, know, you can put someone in an apartment, but that's not the end of it here at Chrysalis. Case management services comes with that. And what that does is help them stay successful in that house, in that apartment. Um, you can house someone, but there might be behaviors or, or, or circumstances that may contribute to their homelessness in the past. We want to make sure those things don't follow them in the future. So what that means is they have an individual connection with someone who is there to help them with those issues are. Maybe it's budgeting. Maybe it's on family relationships. Maybe they're struggling with addiction and things of that nature. Or maybe they're looking for some job training or employment or education. So they have someone who works one-to-one -one with them to help them with those issues. It can be a, a myriad of things. So case management here at Chrysalis is about a personal connection on someone you know you can call, that you can count on um, for any issues. You share your struggles with them, but you also share your successes with them. So we make sure that every individual here has someone that they can talk to, has someone that they can count on to help them through those challenges. Tonight, you can hear some amazing stories about the clients here at the Chrysalis Center. Stories of transformation, story of resilience, stories of self-determination. None of these stories would be possible without your support, without your volunteering, without your involvement, without your financial support. The clients here at Chrysalis are amazing individuals, and we need your support to continue the work that we do. It takes a community to help improve the entire community. So thank you for all your support. Thank you, Brian Bonds. As you heard from Brian, the programs and services at Chrysalis Center are invaluable to so many people. Without them, well, many of the families and people out there would go without. These are life-saving programs, make no doubt about it. One of these programs is Chrysler Center's Community Supportive Housing, which, well, heads helps individuals and throughout our state by providing really important basic things, Karen. Yeah, community service, uh, community supportive housing services is a combination of housing and case management services that really helps support individuals and families who are coming from homelessness. They don't just put them in a house and walk away. They give them what they need. And it's really a best practices model that is helping transition homelessness, homeless people to stable and affordable housing 
with all the wraparound supports you need. So Chrysalis Center has provided supportive services for 20 years. Last year, they helped more than 624 individuals and families who were coming from homelessness and other challenging situations. They helped them find a home. And for many, it was their very first home. Now let's take a moment to meet David. He is a veteran and a client at Chrysalis Community Supportive Housing Program. Now I look back, I was hopeless, but when I get in Chrysler, they give me hope. I give me you know, a new chance, you know. My name is David Rosado, I'm a former staff sergeant from the army. I just came back from Baghdad, Iraq. You know, I'm a infant, 11 Bravo infantry and 21 Bravo combat engineer. I looking for explosive devices and infantry. But when I, when I finished my tour in Iraq, after one year, year and a half, I hit um, Puerto Rico. You know, everything in Puerto Rico was very, very hard. Graduate from two master degree, politics science, forensic science, but I don't found nothing. Very, very hard. Now I lost everything. For that reason, when I came, when I get here in Hartford, Connecticut, I was, what I'm gonna do now because now I met some guy and he told me, don't worry about it, we take care of you. And three days after that, I met Priceless and they started helping me with everything, everything, everything. Home, groceries, everything. After three weeks, I got my apartment. I got my apartment, my service dog, everything. And by the way, he connect me with a, a job. I still, after five years, I still working with the, he recommended. And after three weeks, they bring my family back. And now in like a month, two months, maybe we can find a new home. I'm gonna buy a home. It's very important support Priceless because I have to tell you, they change my life. They change, they give you other opportunity. The opportunity I don't have in Puerto Rico, period. Especially the for veteran, because in Puerto Rico, I don't want to be negative, but here, excellent service for veterans. At the, at the moment I went through the door as the priceless, I don't have to wait for nothing after working hard with VA Hospital and Chrysler, now you see the result. <laughs> I've met him, he, he is inspiring. So incredible really and is. just amazing that you know, he's gonna have his house and yeah. uh, Chrysler Center was hope and a home. He served our country and then he found himself homeless, but with the help of Chrysler Center and his case manager, he now has a home for him and his family. This great service dog there, yeah. so cute. He has food, other basic needs, and even a service dog, Bridget, who you saw in the photo. Yeah. And with the support that he's received from Chrysalis, he and his family are now going to be able to purchase their own home very soon. Congrats. That's amazing. Truly from homeless to purchasing their own home. Yeah. That's really great. Truly inspiring. And as Carol said earlier today, Chrysalis gives a hand up, not a hand out. And David and his family, well, they're one of the hundreds of people who now have a roof over their heads because of the Chrysler Center. So now we want to talk about our auction items because you're going to have fun getting some great items and that's going to support yeah. uh, the great folks that you're seeing in the videos. And as many of you have seen over the past few days on social media, we have some fabulous items for you to bid on and raise funds so that more people like David and his family can have a home to live in. So uh, we want to see some of these auction items, Dennis. Let's talk about them. There are wonderful restaurants, unique experiences, and many themed baskets. There are breweries you can bid on and a behind the scenes tour of the Wadsworth Athenaeum in Hartford, just a historic museum. This is a unique, it's a private docent guided tour mm. of the museum's renowned collections, including the Auerbach Art Library and the Conversation Studio. Yeah. Plus, have sporting events, Kara. Yeah, we've got some UConn women's basketball tickets, uh, the Hartford Wolf Pack, and more. And so many family experiences, mm -hmm. too, like Adventure Park at Stores, yeah. a game night basket, skiing at Mount Southington. There's a Boston package with and an overnight in Hartford, as well as a Foxwoods 
overnight with dinner. So, you know, we always say this when we do these items, but um, yeah. the, the best place to buy a trip is really for a charity. Not only are you really going to feel good, you're helping something, but a lot of times you get great deals. And, you know, I'll tell you, those those hotel rooms at the casinos right now, um, we're taking our daughter to Harry Styles tomorrow. <laughs> Everything is sold out. So you want to go have a nice weekend away and not have all the hassle and know you're helping a good cause. This is a great way to go get a night away and you know you're doing good. And you don't have to deal with calling, waiting on hold. Yeah. And we purchased some things websites. at some of these you know, events and you really can get some fun, fun items. Yeah. And, you know, of course, in the bottom of our heart, we want to thank everyone who donated them because that really without them, yes. we wouldn't be doing this. Yes. So this is amazing. It's so. something for everyone. And you can also bid on the silent auction items. This is what you're going to do. You're going to text Butterfly21 to 76278. That's how to make a donation. If you want to look at the items, go to Butterfly21.GivesSmart. Well, or give smart, I should say, uh, dot com. That's where you can bid and donate. It's all right there. So I know you're having fun in your houses. You're drinking yeah. champagne. You're eating the food. But get out the items. Take a look. Be a great thing to maybe make um, another group night. Maybe you're all going to go take a trip together. Yeah. And just a reminder, the silent auction items will remain open for bids until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And we're glad the, that it's actually open because well, it gives you a chance to you know, bid on some of those things overnight. Yeah, we will keep reminding you throughout the evening. But now before we begin the live auction portion of the evening, I would like to take a few moments just to share another vital program here at Chrysalis Center. It is their food hub. Mm -hmm. Did you know every day more than 100,000 individuals living in Greater Hartford go to bed hungry and 40,000 of them are children under the age of 18? It is stunning. Poverty is one of the leading reasons why families have food insecurity. 34% of Hartford residents now live at or below the poverty threshold, more than triple the statewide average. And in North Hartford, the North End, where Chrysalis Center's headquarters is located, this number increases to 50%, where families live in areas known as what we hear now is a food desert. And that means there's limited access to affordable and nutritious foods. Yeah. So Chrysalis Center's Food Hub includes a variety of programs and initiatives which address the very real issue of food insecurity in our community and a, the lack of just fresh, nutritious mm -hmm. foods that many of you might take for granted. It's tough to get sometimes when you're living in a food desert and they have really hands-on approaches. Yeah. So these initiatives include Fresh Place. It's an innovative client choice, fresh food and case management food pantry located on the main campus right here in Hartford, which serves up to about 100 families or so living in the poorest neighborhoods in the north end of Hartford. And the mission of Fresh Place is to build long-term food security and self-sufficiency. They give case management, they address the immediate need of let's give you some food, but they also look at the root causes of food insecurity, which oftentimes is poverty and mental illness. So they, they really do treat the whole person. And in addition to Fresh Place, the Chrysalis Center Food Hub also includes Urban Roots mm -hmm. Hydroponics Grow Center. Now, this is really cool. They We've grow, been there. It's, it's, yeah. it's, and we, we've eaten it. I mean, it's, it's cool. organic. They grow yeah. lettuce, basil, microgreens right in the water on site. Um, the railway gardens, they have raised beds. The food forest grows. You get produce and all the programs provide these fresh, nutritious foods. And what's really nice is they get to go in. And as, as yeah. a mom who's maybe shopping for her family or uh, a veteran like you saw with Dave, they get to pick the foods that they want, that they want to serve. And they're used every day in the organization's La Cocina Culinary Arts Program and distributed to the community through Fresh Place and the Homestead Farmers Market. In fact, the lettuce in your salad tonight yes, was, was grown right here in the hydroponics garden. And so it's, you it like good? that lettuce? It's very fresh. Yeah, no, it is. And, and it, it was really cool to see just how they grow it. And who knew? Yeah. Right? So um, we also need to mention the Chrysalis Center's La Cochina Culinary Arts Training Program and the La Cocina Catering. Do you say Cochina or Cocina? Cocina. It's Cocina in Spanish and Cucina, no, um, in Italian, right? Well, La Cucina. You say La, Cucina. La Cucina. That means come to the kitchen in Italian. <laughs> I, that's what I know. And we took Spanish, so we should know this. Cucina. Well, but I just wanted to know how Adria says it. How says it. She's Italian. So <laughs> Cucina. La Cocina is here. All right. So there's two unique social enterprise initiatives, and it's all part of the food hub. Just think of like the hub where you go to really learn how to feed your family in the right way. And La Cocina Culinary Arts Training Program serves as also a job readiness program for individuals in the community that helps them become employed. They often provide clients with extensive wraparound service. Um, they get five-star chef instruction, a case manager. Many of these clients are high-risk young adults and adults living in the community, and they have a lot of barriers, such as a mental health diagnosis, 
maybe they don't have a very great education, addiction, criminal record, a lot of it would prevent them from obtaining gainful employment. And La Cocina Catering really helps with the training. Yeah. The Crystal Center's La Cocina Catering is a licensed on-site and off-site caterer, which offers a diverse menu and a variety of food options with a socially conscious mission. All funds generated through the catering program help further the organization's mission, which is helping to solve the problem of poverty through employment training. So if you are having an event or you just want to pick up dinner one night, be sure to visit Chrysalis Center's website and click the catering button to view their menu and order something. Oh, that's so nice. Isn't so if you're cool? having an event, yeah. we can order and that helps Chrysalis. Cool. That's so yeah. great. So keep that handy the next time you're wondering, I don't want to cook, but I, maybe the holidays are coming up. That's a great way to yeah. support. Um, and I'd like to introduce you now to a Chrysalis Center client who has been a beneficiary of Fresh Place and actually now volunteers her time both in the food pantry and in the Chrysalis Center gardens. Hi, my name is Dahlia Forbes. I came to Chrysalis as a client in Fresh Place. I was able to get food for me and my family. And I also went through the Safe Safe program, which is also through Chrysalis in the um, restaurant part of it. And it prepared me to have a new career for me so I can take care of my family. It's been very helpful. Um, it's given me the time to be able to still take care of my son and do what I have to do. Since then, um, I was introduced to the garden and I love gardening. It's one of, it's my favorite thing to do other than, you know, um, taking care of my son. So we volunteered, we put all the stuff together. We um, brought in all the dirt, did everything. And, and yes, we've been maintaining it and doing the um, farmer's market every Wednesday from 12 to 4 and that's been very beneficial. This has been one of the best programs I've ever been a part of, and I've been a part of many, the different organizations that are nonprofit, and none of them compared to Chrysalis. They really help you a lot, and the quality of food that we get is uncomparable because it's mostly organic, very healthy stuff, and um, yes, they really, I would recommend it to anyone that's in need to come in and volunteer give us some funds if you have any extra we really need it because it really does a good job for the community and the people that come here they really appreciate it i see them because i also volunteer at fresh place now so i get help giving out the food to the people and see the oh man i don't know what i would do without it or someone that just has an emergency need and they come in they get everything they need to last them for two weeks or more you know and Yes, it's something that we need. There's more need in the community. And a lot of people don't know about it, but more people should because it's a great help in the Artford area. That is pretty so cool, wonderful. Huh? Thanks, Dahlia. Dahlia not only found hope and fresh food at Chrysalis Center's Fresh Place Food Pantry, but she now is a volunteer there. So it just shows you the impact that it's had on her life and her desire to give back. She was also a student in the culinary arts training program. And as she said, there's an, really an increased need in our community and more people need to know that Chrysalis Center exists, which is why we're here, Dennis. Yeah, because you may have driven by it, you may have heard about it, and this is why we are here tonight. And we wanna switch gears just a bit because of course we're here to raise some money for this wonderful organization. And now comes the fun part of the evening. We are going to be announcing our live auction items. Yes. Yeah. So again, um, look at the screen there. Text Butterfly21 to 76278. Um, that's how you make a donation. Or you can follow along at the, on the items with Butterfly21.givesmart.com. So the first item is, I'm told, it's always one that people really, really want. It's the ultimate wine experience. So whether you're new to wine or you're a wine connoisseur, you're going to want to bid on this pack package. It features 36 hand-selected bottles right from the shelves and cellar of the Wise Old Dog, which is a unique boutique bottle shop located in West Hartford. And this, of course, was generously donated by the Wise Old Dog in <laughs> West Hartford. Now you have to pick it up there. It's at 612 Quaker Lane. South Quaker Lane in West Hartford, and the value is $800. Yes. So we are going to start the bidding tonight at the value of $800, which is still um, under 
what you should be paying for these 36 bottles of amazing wine. Just think every time you're celebrating with your family, you can think I'm helping Chrysalis. Yeah, and this is a great place too because the people who work there are experts in wine. So if you have a question, you can stop by and you can ask them all about it. This is a mix of wines, reds, whites, rosés that Jacob is going to hand select from the shop's wine cellar. So you know it's going to be fantastic. So we're watching it. We're, we have a whole crew of technical folks here. So we're yeah. able to see and, as you bid. And, and it's a little bit different than people being in the room raising their paddle then. But we're going to be able to find out. Um, we know that 800 is coming in. Yeah. And we'll see, I think, the next level what we're going to go to. But we're going to wait for you to actually go on there. I know you're, you're eating and you're having fun and you're doing all that. Um, but while they're bidding, Dennis, we can just talk a little bit about all the great things that Chrysalis does. Yeah, Chrysalis does amazing things. And just a reminder, Joe, it says on your screen how to do this, but all you have to do is text Butterfly21 to 76278 to make a donation or go to Butterfly21GiveSmart.com to bid and donate. And you will be just supporting so many of the amazing services provided by Chrysalis. So I, I also want to just... Uh, uh, you know, thank, um, we, we had to get some food for everyone. So I hope you're all enjoying Max catering. Um, Adria Giordano did a wonderful job organizing all of the, uh, wonderful events. So hopefully you're enjoying your food at home and think of that. Um, because we kind of take it for granted when we just go throw a salad together or we, yeah. uh, order some food for takeout. Too many of us are probably door dashing more than we want to. Absolutely. And when you think of a place like Chrysalis, they're not only making sure that bellies are full, they're, um, referring folks to mental health therapists. They're helping them with getting childcare. They're helping them with getting education. They're helping them with everything that they need, which is really the full package. And listen to, um, you know, some of the things about, well, in this case, you can read about some of the items that are being donated to learn more about them. But uh, we encourage you to let us know how, what you're thinking tonight. Are you having a good time? How's your dinner? You can go to the Chrysalis Facebook page, write a little comment if you'd like. You can find Kara and me on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Send us a message or tweet us what you're thinking or post it on Facebook because it's really, that's part of the thing. It's like, I know we're not sitting at tables and cheering each other and talking and socializing, but we're getting together tonight for a great cause in this era of COVID. And of course, we do hope in the future to be back in person. So because we're doing this virtually, yeah. it's, oh, we have a bid. Okay. Oh, that, we have a bid. It takes, okay. it takes a little time. So as you can see, we're stretching because yeah. it takes a little time for you guys to bid and then for us to see it. So we have $800. We're going to move on to $900. And as we're moving on, I want to get to, um, would you like us to go on to the second item? Okay. So we have till nine o'clock to do the live auction sure. items. So let's, we're going to talk about them. That way you can commit amongst yourselves at home, yeah. have your champagne and decide which ones you're um, going to bid on. So I'm, um, <laughs> I'm excited about this next item. This next item. I think I'm familiar I know this with this girl. next item. Who is that? <laughs> So, so I wrote a book. Maybe maybe you know, maybe you don't. I wrote a memoir. It's called Finding Dad from Love Child to Daughter. Came out seven years ago, actually. And um, I wanted to donate something to help Chrysalis tonight. And Adrian and I were talking and I thought, you know, in this virtual world, what can we do? We can't bring you right now to um, our sets and have lunches uh, at the stations or anything like that because there's still issues with the pandemic. But So we're offering uh, some other things today. And yeah, so this is the book that's going to become a movie starring Rachel, uh, I mean, Jennifer Aniston and <laughs> Rob Lowe, isn't it, right? Jennifer Aniston's really busy with the morning show right now. But uh, this, what, what we're going to do is if you're having a book club, and I know so many people have really even started more book clubs during the pandemic. So if you're having a book club, I will do a Zoom uh, call in sessions. You guys can oh, read great. Finding Dad. We have 10 books that we're donating. So if you purchase this tonight, you're going to get 10 signed copies and you'll, on a date that's mutually agreed upon, I'm going to zoom into your book club and we can talk about it. We can talk about my journey. This is really um, a book about transformation. So it's, uh, it's a book about forgiveness and um, it's a book about family. So I think anyone can relate to it. I wrote it from my heart, but I'd love to join your book club. So we're going to start the, the bidding tonight. At $200, you're going to get the 10 books and me. <laughs> That's really, not, you know, book clubs are really, really popular, particularly to have the author there to talk about it. And I will tell you some of the questions that I would ask if I were at this book club. You event. helped write it. You know, well, you I helped write it. it. You I, don't have any questions. I proofread it. Well, I'm telling them what they could ask. They could okay. say, like, hey, what goes into putting a book together? Um, how do you get a publisher? How do you fact, fact check it? 
Um, how long does it take to put together? Uh, where do you, what do you choose to get rid of? What do you edit out? Yeah. What do you need to add? So uh, things to keep in mind, there might be some people who are maybe writing books at home and might want to go to this because Kara learned from a, from an author. She learned from Make Susan Brzezinski. Campbell. Oh, and, and, and Mika Brzezinski, yes. Yes, I took a memoir writing class at the Mark Twain House, so that's how I started. But Mika Brzezinski actually encouraged me, and she wrote the forward to the book. And Dennis, there's a little chapter, 17, Walking Down the Aisle. That that one was about you. That's about me. So you can read all about <laughs> our, uh, our our life, and uh, and which is uh, it's a story of forgiveness in terms of, if you don't know Kara's story, uh, she met her dad when she was 17. So it's an interesting story, and they became as close as, as any father daughter could be over time. And so we have a bid. Hi, so Janet. Bid. Thank hey, you, Janet. Janet thanks for bidding. So we started at two hundred. We're going to go up uh, by fifty bucks to two fifty, and we're going to keep it going. If we get another bid, um, our our folks behind the scenes here are going to let us know. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it, and it's a fun, unique way that we can raise some money and have some fun together. And Dennis is enough. Your, your auction is a little more active. A little bit more active. So, of course, I, I cannot, unfortunately, offer you a tour of the station right now because of COVID, we're not doing things like that at WTNH or pretty much any station at this time. But uh, so what I'm going to offer to you, and, and, and some people offer like play golf for the day or something like that. Well, I don't really do a lot of golf. I do it poorly. I do it a couple times a year when someone is burdened by having me in their foursome. So, but instead, uh, we're going to play some racquetball. Racquetball is a good little sport. It's fun. It's kind of like squash a little bit. And uh, I'll teach you, you know, some things of what I know. I'm not an expert by any means, but uh, I play with a couple of my friends. Some are better than me and some are not. And it goes very fast. It's a very fast game. It's, and you're going to uh, do it at the Mandel JCC. We're going to do it at the Mandel JCC in West Hartford. I'm on the board there and I'm a member there. So we'll do it there. I have rackets and everything. So you don't have to worry about that. I'll throw in a t shirt for you as well. Um, and we can work out a time and a place to do that, but it's really a lot of fun. And, uh, of course the JCC is a great place to do it. So, so we're uh, going to start your bidding. Also yeah. 200 bucks. So if you want to do bucks this and it's a workout, right? So. It is a workout. It's a solid workout. It's 45 minutes of running around and, uh, but we'll, you know, we'll probably stay longer than that. You know, Did, obviously. What if, what if they beat you? Is that okay? See, so you, you can beat me. You can do whatever you want. If you're really great, I'd love to play it. And if you're not, I'd love to play it too. So let me know if you want to give it as a gift to your brother or a husband or whatever, let me know as well. And uh, Or your can, wife, and she might beat you yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. Whoever you want to do it with, <laughs> uh, you never want to play. And uh, I don't play racquetball, so. Let me know. Um, yeah. I mean, there are a few women who do play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it's a great I, facility I over. I don't see too many it, of them, but it's a great a, facility there. So, uh, and we have ooh, a bid. The oh, wine have, auction is at $1,200. Wow, that. That's amazing. So the that. next bid, we need to go to $1,300. Uh, oh, and Kim. Kim has a uh, bid on my book, uh, my book club Zoom, and we're now at two fifty for the book club Zoom. And what so do we want to start you. the racquetball at? We we started at two hundred. Two hundred. We're equal. Okay. We started so two hundred. So we're starting racquetball at two hundred dollars. Don't forget, you know, these are these items you purchase um, are actually items that you can. They're expenses that you can deduct in your taxes next year as a donation to the Chrysalis Center. So uh, keep that in mind. And, um, but this is a lot of fun. Racquetball is a fun, fast sport. And so, um, you know, we're hoping. Oh, now the wine is up to 1300. Wow, the wine is growing. So we have people who love wine, um, but uh, no one who's into racquetball just yet, but it's coming. Well, it's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. It is definitely coming. coming. Think about it. And it's something you can do day, night, weekend, whatever works best for you. We can make all that work out. Yeah. So. It'll be um, and it and benefits Chrysalis Center, and uh, we'll have a good time. So it takes a little bit too, Dan. By the time they actually send it off to the texting world, that's and true. It, it makes is a little it bit difficult. It's if a little you bit... excuse me for a moment, I'm going to go get something that's really, really cool. This is our next item. So this is, um, get your bidding ready for this because every year we do this, and it really goes um, for good money. And this is beautiful. I can understand why. It's just you know I was once doing a, um, a story and. They talked about having art in your home and, and not having to buy necessarily expensive art. But if you have art that has meaning, your whole house feels better. Now this, I can't yeah. think of anything that has more meaning. We have a lot of um, we have a lot of art in our house that we, um, in many cases, created ourselves or people we know created. And this beautiful and unique auction item has been created by Jackie, a client of Crystal Center's Recovery and Empower Empowerment Center. The Recovery and Empowerment Center, or REC, is located on the Chrysalis campus. It's a social rehab program which provides critical social support, 
peer engagement, advocacy, skill building, and health and wellness activities to low-income individuals across Metro Hartford with severe, persistent mental illness and or substance abuse. It's a lifeline for clients and provides supports to a group of vulnerable to social isolation, rather, so they can build connections in the community. And this, you know, Kara, as we know, was even more critical during the pandemic. So let me tell you a little bit about this item. Yeah, okay, so it's a puzzle and it's super special because it was created by Jackie, who's a longtime REC client. She really loves making puzzles because she says they help keep her mind busy. Uh, the whole world has been doing more puzzles as a way to deal with stress and anxiety in this time, but she's been making them since she was little and most days she can be found at REC making puzzles. So like the chrysalis stage of a butterfly's transformation, this is a beautiful watercolor color puzzle. And it really symbolizes the journey that clients take as they transform their lives. And Jackie's just one of the many who's been transformed. It's uh, 21 by 21 height by 28 wide. So just to give you an idea, it would look beautiful in most spaces. But um, just a little note, which is special about this. You can barely see it here, but I just want to point out there's a missing piece. One and picture. Jackie was missing a piece. And rather than start a whole puzzle over, she decided it was perfect just the way it is. <laughs> And, I like it. Yeah, it's interesting. Our, and really, it's a it, it's symbolic because just like the clients that Chrysalis serves, we are all perfectly imperfect, missing some pieces. Yeah. So it's um it's a symbol, I think, to look at it and say, despite everything that you're going through, despite everything that life can throw at you, um, even with a missing piece, everything is still beautiful and transforming. So uh, tonight we're going to start the bidding here. Let me see. Adria, what? 275. Sorry. We've got it at 275 wow. already. So That's we're, fantastic. let's try and go up. Um, let's go up at least $50, right? So uh, maybe over $100. I know this goes well. We're going to keep it going. Like we said, these links work till nine, but this is beautiful. The wine auction is now up to $1,400. Yeah. Woohoo! You know, we do hope to raise $150,000 tonight. Um, you need that money because Crystal has served so many people. And we are very close to getting that $150,000 thanks to all of your support. But we want to do even more with these auctions. The puzzle's up to 300. The puzzle's yes. now 300. Yay. Yay. Yes, that's awesome. That's awesome. So and that was our final auction item for this evening. But all four items you can bid on until nine o'clock tonight. Yeah. So um, we want to also talk about um, as the employment readiness. So as one of Connecticut's leading organizations serving people with mental illness and also those who are returning from homeless populations, Chrysalis Center understands the need to develop and offer employment training. And that really provides the clients an opportunity to become employed and then self-sufficient. So individuals living in poverty often face other barriers to getting that job or certainly keeping that job. Employment services is another program offered throughout Chrysalis, employment specialists and case managers work with individuals to create a plan to identify career choices and obtain employment. Staff support individuals in a variety of ways, including, but not limited to, education and job training, resume writing, job searches, mock interviews, and online applications. So the Center's Employment and Recovery Network, it actually uses an evidence-based best practice model. It's something that's copied all over the nation, and it's designed to meet the vocational needs of a lot of individuals who are experiencing mental illness, who need some support, some job readiness, and uh, they continue to follow these folks as they are already employed. They keep up with them. So we are really honored right now to share a final client story with you. It's an individual whose life has really been transformed because of the Chrysalis Center Employment Services. Chrysler, this is a good place, and they help a lot of people who strive throughout the year with them. It helps them a whole lot, and it's a big impact on their life, you know. My name is Ian Anthony Campbell. I came to Crystalis over 10 years ago when they used to be on Farmington Avenue, and I used to cook, I used to cook for them. I used to serve food a lot for them stuff like that. I've been cooking for over 35 years now. Timothy Anderson is, is my empowerment specialist. He's been a good guy for me. Always watch my back for me and stuff like that. Always getting work for me. 
sometimes when you're working with individuals that don't have the um, right direction or right um, tools to um, apply for employment, it becomes difficult. Once I got to meet Aon Campbell, it became easier because we were able to communicate what he needed. It's not about what I need, but what he needs from employers and what he needs to um, use his skills to um, obtain employment. When um, when Aon first got employed, he got employed at Holy Family Retreat in West Hartford. Um, he had difficulties getting to the job because of transportation. There's always seems to be a transportation issue with most individuals. Therefore, I, um, I actually showed Aon how to use Uber. I gave him the bus schedule to try to get um, to and from work. However, um, I told Aon to look um, forward and to um, save his money so that he can possibly purchase transportation. Since I got the job, my whole life has changed because I used to take the bus to work and now I purchased a car for myself. So I've learned and earned a lot of things through to my thing. It's, it's helped a lot of people, Crystalis. I love it and it's a beautiful place and it help, help a lot of people. I've seen a, a lot of great people come through here. There's a lot of individuals like Aeon in the community that need support. Community support, with housing support, with employment support, these things can help individuals at Chrysalis. So please donate and try to support individuals within the uh, surrounding cities of Hartford. Such an amazing story, such an amazing story. Yeah. Aon is just one of those clients um, who really tells the story of Chrysalis, who became employed with the help of Tim. And then look at him, he bought that amazing car yeah, and that cool? smile when he was standing by the car. I just love that. I love <laughs> That's that. That's what it's all about. He was able to do this all because of the help he received here at the Chrysalis Center. So we also want to let shout out to, there's at least 50 online computers right now, but we know a lot of you are having parties. So let's say you all have 10 people over or something. That's at least 500 people who are maybe watching and supporting Chrysalis tonight. Yeah, we're getting a lot of bids on these items. They keep going up and up, which is good, the live auction items. Right, right now we have wine at 1500 so that's awesome. So the, what's our next bid, 1600 And uh, the next bid would be 1600 Okay. And just check your phone because the way this works is if you did bid, you're going to get a notification that someone outbid you. Uh, the puzzle's now up to 300 and Dennis, someone's going to be playing racquetball with you for at least 200 200 all right i continue to go up so, so what's I, our next bid on that uh the next bid would be 250 250 okay i believe yeah and your book is it uh the book is uh 250 right now 215 so the next bid would be three we right, think so that. yeah for yeah. the book club maybe they'll Next accept one. i don't know maybe they'll accept by 50 dollars now it goes up by fifty dollars. Uh, it's a little different with the computer. So, uh, but we want to give you an opportunity right now, as you've heard about all the transformation. And I know by now you're going, gosh, if you didn't know about Chrysalis, you're now going, wow, this organization is amazing, and every little bit helps. So this is when, if you don't want to buy an auction item or you just want to yeah. help, maybe you were invited to someone's house tonight and the food is there and you're having a great time. Just bring out your smartphone and make a donation. Just text Butterfly21 to 76278 or go to Butterfly21GiveSmart.com for the items. And we want to let you know that $2,000 provides food and case management services for two months for a family of four. $1,500 provides five hours of critical case management services to two people. $1,000 provides living room furniture to a family of four moving into a new home. $500 provides a bed to a formerly homeless veteran. 250 provides employment training for three people. And 100 provides one week of food and case management services for one person living in poverty. So our goal is to raise more than 150 grand this evening. And we are so close to hitting that goal, but we do need your help. So please, please, please give what you can, big or small. Really any amount, any amount, whatever you can punch into your phone, we would love to receive. So, and there's one more thing we want to share. Carol Larkin-Merzen has just called in not only has she already donated to the mission moment, but she's already made a commitment to match all donations made here tonight during this mission moment of fear. That is amazing. Yeah. Yes, you heard Thank that you, correctly. If you're kibitzing among yourselves and you're having tears, just listen to this. Carol is matching Woo. all of the gifts tonight. So whatever you give, and every bit matters, but whatever you give is going to be doubled. And then don't forget, check, because if your company has a matching program. Yep, you can it. still match your own donation. And then Carol's going to match what you gave. So we can really have mul money multiplying here for Christmas. Yeah, we need more people like Carol. She's just absolutely amazing. That is so cool. Very
very, very full. So now remember, this is, um, you know, our auction is open until nine o'clock tonight. Correct? Yep. Yes, nine o'clock tonight. You can bid. And, and the, the silent auction goes till 10 a.m. Till 10 a.m. in the morning. Is that right? Yeah. That's right. So the silent auction, there's some more items out there, like we said, the skiing, um, the family fun, the, yep. uh, the different gift cards. So definitely check out the silent auction as well. Share that link with people even who are not enjoying this evening with you tonight. And yeah, bid, bid high, high and bid, bid often. often. And, uh, you know, spread the good word of Chrysalis tonight, even if you're not bidding. Just tell someone about it, and, uh, and they might want to donate or bid. So that's how it all gets out there. So we want to thank everyone who's participated right now. We're just um, enjoying. In fact, let's do a little cheers, Den, for all the people who have come on, at least 50 of you, plus all the friends at your house. So yeah. hundreds of people supporting Chrysalis tonight. We are working on getting um, at least a total of what we have so far. I know everyone likes yeah. to hear how much money we raised so far. So uh, the team here is busy calculating. But keep those bids coming because we're going to get yeah. final tallies. Keep Watch your emails. I know Adria is going to be sharing on social media and your emails how much we ultimately raise by tomorrow. But we're like one hundred and forty thousand. Wow, that's right now, great. Which that's is awesome. Fantastic. But the goal is one hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah. So we want to get there. I know we're going to get there, and especially with Carol's help. Yeah. So we're very close. We've been ten thousand dollars of a hundred and fifty thousand dollar goal. I know we're going to do it. That's pretty good. That that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, cheers to you, and <laughs> thanks for partaking in this tonight. This is really a fun time. Yeah, awesome. So uh, we want to remind you, text Butterfly21, 76278, butterfly butterfly21.givesmart.com. Keep those handy. Keep them, uh, you know, if you wake up tomorrow and say, oh, I forgot to go do the uh, silent auction. Yeah, I think I wanted to it. buy those ski lift yeah. passes that my son wants to go skiing this weekend uh, or this winter. You know, we this is a one, one way you can help Chrysalis. So keep those Some options. really great items. And thank you for supporting the live items as well. You can still bid on those. Until uh, just about nine o'clock tonight. So, little housekeeping. If you win, you're wondering how am I going to know? You're going to get a notification, yeah. and then instructions are going to tell you how to pick up your item. So, with that, we want to wish you a wonderful Friday evening, everyone. Good night. Thank you, all the great souls out there who are sharing your Friday evening for a good cause. So, on behalf of all of the clients here at Chrysalis, we really want to say thank you for your generosity and your support. Cheers. Cheers to all of you. And thank you so much. And cheers to Crystal Center for all the good work that you do. Need more donations if you have any. Uh, we could really use it because I think there's a great need in the area for this program, and I would recommend it to anyone.